happy Sabbath, boys and girls. Good morning. Did you guys? Good, good morning. Good morning. All right. Did you guys remember to say thank you? Okay. Everybody up. Everybody stand up. Stand up. It's okay. Turn around. And go ahead and tell them thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> excited because this is uh, one of the first times I've done it. It's a children's story here before and I was kind of uh, deciding which story to tell you guys so what I decided was to tell you guys the first time that I had really done something that was really, really bad. And that was the first time I sold a piece of candy. And the last time I sold a piece of candy. <laughs> it was definitely the first time and I remember we had went to this grocery store called Wiseway and we still have a few around here, but not as many as we did. And I went in there with my aunt, and I had passed by the candy aisle. Now, how many of you guys eat candy or like candy? Yeah, pretty much every candy or should say yeah. But, <laughs> you know, the truth of the matter is I was obsessed with this one candy that had strawberry, coconut, and chocolate all in the same piece of candy. It was the best thing I ever ate. Yeah, oh, it's better than you eat. Okay. <laughs> you take it piece by piece, but the point is, I had taken this piece of candy because my mom had told me no, I can not get any candy. And, you know, I had taken it, and we're going throughout the store, and I'm just kind of like sledding and keep it to myself, <laughs> kept it in my pockets, kind of rocking a little bit, and just <laughs> trying to stay away from them, but at the same time, I said, I didn't think anything was up. And uh, we had went out to the checkout, and we checked out the groceries, and of course, I'm thinking, okay, I got away with it. Yay, feel good. You know, I'm gonna eat this piece of candy and feel so good. And we got in the car and I took it out of my pocket and began to unwrap it. And I felt really bad, but then to make it worse, they caught me too. <laughs> so as my mom and my aunt uh, both caught me, you know, they were like, Where'd you get the piece of candy from? And I'm like, I found it. <laughs> but um, the truth of the matter is that, you know, I had taken it from the candy thing and out of the store. So they made me go in, and I would never forget this. I returned the piece of candy, and I had felt so bad because I, well, like I said, it was the first time I had thrown a piece of candy. Like, and it just made me feel so bad on the inside. Number one, not so much that I got caught, just the fact that I did something where I know there was a reason my parents had said, no, I can have a piece of candy. And later on, I had found out they had bought a bag of candy but they didn't tell me about it. So I didn't get the bag of candy that they had bought me and I didn't get a piece of candy either. So the moral of the story is that, you know, there's a commandment that says, thou shalt not steal. And that's found in Exodus chapter 19. And that's one of the things you have to remember. Don't steal, trust in the Lord. You know, there's never a point where you need to steal. If you trust in the Lord, he'll always provide for you. Amen. So does anyone want to volunteer to have a word of prayer? Come on now. Amen. Amen. Father God, thank you for the first day. Jesus name, amen. 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 All right, boys and girls, can I go back to your seats? <laughs> 